This is a video tour on Bracton Drive in Nottingham. This property is a three bedroom semi-detached house. To the front of the property you'll see there is a large front lawn area with a double width driveway providing off-street parking with a side path which leads us up to the front door and a further shared gate which gives access into the rear garden. To the front of the property there's also storage for bins with an outside light also. We'll make our way into the entrance hall as we immediately come in. You'll see there is a stairs up to the first floor landing, door to the kitchen, door to the lounge and dining room, and the door to our left, which we'll start with, which is the ground floor WC. Recently done, there is a electric towel radiator in here with a WC with a further wash basin on the back of the toilet also. There's the chrome heated towel rail with a small UPVC double glazed window providing light in. Opposite to this is the lounge dining room, Dining room has a finish of wooden flooring. Very spacious area with a UPVC double glazed window to the front elevation of the property, providing light in. Through the opening takes us into the lounge area. The lounge has a feature electric fire with a TV point to the far corner and another large double glazed window overlooking the rear garden, which we'll make our way to in just a minute. Plenty of room for freestanding furniture, including two sofas, as you can see the current homeowners have done. The kitchen has a tiled flooring with modern base level storage units. Integrated appliances consist of washing machine, tumble dryer, dishwasher. Above the dishwasher is the stainless steel sink with draining board and mixer tap. Integrated Neff oven and hob with a further extractor fan and also an internal fridge freezer just in front of us there. Side door which gives us access into the rear garden with a further storage cupboard. The units also having a small subway tiled effect surrounding it, which is a lovely feature with built-in wine storage just under the sink there also. Dual aspect room with windows on the left and back wall. We'll make our way into the rear garden. As we immediately come out, there is decking, which takes us all the way around the back of the house, which is a lovely feature, perfect for garden furniture, as you can see the current homeowners have done. There is roped balustrades separating the uh, decking from the rear lawn. Good sized garden, very spacious and private due to the hedge around the left with a further timber fencing covering the back borders and the right hand border. The gate I mentioned at the start of the tour is situated just on the right there with an outside tap also. So we'll make our way upstairs to the first floor landing showcase the bedrooms we'll start right to left with the room straight ahead of me being bedroom number two brilliant size double room situated at the front elevation of the property providing with a large window providing light in plenty of room for freestanding furniture could even fit a king size bed in here also next door to this room we have bedroom number one bedroom number one has original wooden flooring which has been varnished and painted Plenty of room for freestanding furniture. Also a cubby hole, which is perfect for a wardrobe. Again, another window looking over the rear garden, which we'll make our way to. Might give you a bit better indication as to the size of the rear garden. It's a brilliant size, as you can see. On my right here is bedroom number three. Brilliant sized double room, again, could be a large single though, for those who have children. Plenty of room for freestanding furniture. Current home homeowners use it as a study, which as you can see works brilliantly for those who work from home. And finally upstairs we have the bathroom. The bathroom is a three piece white suite with a wash basin with mixer tap, WC, and a further corner shower and bath. Bath tap being a stainless steel mixer tap with a further electric shower, which is newly fitted. Extractor fan just above the electric uh, shower with further tiled surrounding. And finally, there is a boarded loft hatch just on the top of the landing there also, which is covered all across the width of the house. So viewing is highly recommended on this property, situated near amenities and transport links. It's not one to miss.